creations are, you know, right here. I had adopted the fear, the negative opinions of people who held their own self-worth in question. And now, the disparity between the way my soul saw me, oh, beautiful rock star, <laughs> and the way I saw me, ugly misfit freak, was so big, that was the paralyzing pain. Because I was looking at myself in a way that my soul would never look at me. And the kicking and the screaming and the hair pulling were just mayday calls from my soul saying my beliefs, that BS, was in opposition to my truth. They tried to bury us, but they didn't know that we were seeds. <laughs> in that darkness, with those challenges, <laughs> I know, I'm preaching to the choir, we, in the, under pressure, with the blood and the sweat and the tears, it's all just loosening the soil. It's loosening our heart, opening us, deepening our humanity, loosening our grip on the BS, a death grip in my, in my opinion, until we muster the, the strength and the compassion to start to break through those earthly boundaries and remember the light that we are. Adversity isn't a disaster, it's a doorway. We get to decide how to interpret the dance. Enter Stage Left, might add, always been a huge fan of my art, and 20, 30 years ago, wanted me to get into computer graphics, because he had this crazy idea that computers were the wave of the future. <laughs> I ignored that brilliance, <laughs> until his idea I could use my left hand on the keyboard kind of won out. So I got the computer, I did not get into computer graphics. I did, however, find a savior when I got hooked on email. <laughs> My silence had not protected me. Your silence will not protect you. All those years of clenching and closing my heart and holding those secrets in, when I began to email, to the friends and family who were online, and, and for the first time really tell the truth, and to honor this part while still, you know, honoring this. And they said, yeah, we have those same fears. Different circumstances, but we're all scarred. I'm like, what? Like all these years I thought I was so different? And I find out, I put my pants on the same, actually I don't, but, you know. <laughs> in that, that shame and that unworthiness, that brokenness, is our, our great commonality. Feeling different, We're, we all feel different. This was a, such a revelation. I kept writing. I, I was writing for therapy and, and for the catharsis, and it was magic. My right hand started jumping into the typing. The pain was decreasing. Because as I let a little bit of hope, a little bit of my creative voice and my soul to come cha cha back in, <laughs> the pain and the BS had to hip hop out really want to bust a move right there just to make my point. <laughs> when you uncover your deepest heartbreak, you discover your power. Sharing our stories, our vulnerability, our brokenness, our authenticity is feeding two birds with one scone, as someone once said. It's actually feeding a whole flock. It's so nutritional. Because as we air out the BS, and we're all full of it, we see the universal connection, the, the love that's there. 
And, and as we share, we inspire others, give them permission to set themselves free. And in doing that, we're each transforming our own personal pain into universal purpose. As soon as healing takes place, go out and heal somebody else. My memoir, Nothing Short of Joy, came out of this writing tsunami. And it connected me to that world that I'd never trusted. They made me feel like a freak. They never invited me to the dance party. But the longer I saw the bigger picture from this perspective, I realized it was actually me that stopped inviting me to the party. And Earth is this ginormous costume party, and we're all freaks. <laughs> Art is a wound turned into light. My wound, which I despised, my dwarfism, the arthritis, and then all the BS that I piled on top of it, became, in my search for this, became my billboard, and my artistry, and my advocacy. Because when we let our soul in, it can transform any ugliness into something beautiful any separation into something whole and unified. It's been 18 years. I have not had surgery. Uh, I can't do back handsprings, but I do my watercolors and calligraphy. I have them up at the marketplace. My art had to temporarily cha-cha out so that my creative writing and that therapy and healing could waltz in. So if you find yourself in a new chapter or you're stuck in an old chapter, don't worry, because your soul will find a way to join the party or drag you there, whichever comes first. <laughs> I allow my living to open me, to make me less afraid, more accessible, to loosen my heart until it becomes a wing, a torch, a promise, a promise to you to be me, a promise to use my adversity, my challenges as creative curriculum. Because your belly flops teach us all how to bounce back, and all of it becomes a spiritual springboard to our greater potential as a whole, as one. Creative expression is healing spackle from the soul. It reconnects us to the love we were born to forget. Creative expression is that connecting to that sacred place where we all speak the same language. It's that song, it's that, that dance, that garden, it's that feeling that gets released when we invite our soul, our whole artistry, center stage, in our lives. We are so full of holes, we become holy. <laughs> Think about someone's work, a book, a dance style, music, who has so inspired you, really changed your course. And how they, they reminded you of what your soul already knew, but the BS kind of forgot. And remember that they too felt fear, they too felt thwarted and oppressed and wondered if they'd ever make a difference. But they didn't listen to that creative kryptonite. And because they didn't, they changed your world, your direction. You're that someone for many other someones. We can't let our fear, our past, negative opinions, money, those no's in life stop us. Our spirit is this eternal yes, and it wants expression through our life. When you are born into a world you don't fit in, it's because you were born to help create a new one. 
We are powerful co-creators. One of a kind fingerprints, never to be repeated. The billions who came before us, the billions that will come after us, seven billion ways right now to connect to that universal heartbeat in the one and only way that we can. So you have already won the mirror ball trophy. <laughs> I think you can dance with whatever life throws your way. There will never be another freaky rock star masterpiece like you. So create from that. Be what you love, love what you create, come as you are. You have been handed an eternal, gilded invitation to the dance party. <laughs> Thank you.